The Near Earth Asteroid Scout (NEA Scout) is a planned mission by NASA to develop a controllable low-cost CubeSat solar sail spacecraft capable of encountering near-Earth asteroids (NEA). The NEA Scout will be one of 13 CubeSats to be carried with the Orion M1 mission into a heliocentric orbit in cislunar space on the maiden flight of the Space Launch System (SLS) scheduled to launch in 2020. The most likely target for the mission is 1991 VG, but this may change based on launch date or other factors. After deployment in cislunar space, NEA Scout will perform a series of lunar flybys to achieve optimum departure trajectory before beginning its two-year-long cruise. NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center MSFC and Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL are jointly developing this mission with support from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center, Langley Research Center, and NASA Headquarters. The principal investigator is Julie castillo Roges from NASA's JPL. Overview The mission is funded by NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. Near-Earth asteroids nice are of interest to science, and as NASA continues to refine its plans to possibly explore these small objects with human explorers, initial reconnaissance with inexpensive robotic precursors is necessary to minimize risks, and inform the required instruments for future reconnaissance missions. The characterization of NICE that are larger than 20 meters in diameter is also of great relevance to plan mitigation strategies for planetary defense. The NEA Scout spacecraft will be one of 13 CubeSats carried as secondary payload on the maiden flight of the Space Launch System (SLS), a mission called Exploration Mission 1 (M1). To measure the physical properties of a near-Earth object, the spacecraft will be performing a slow 10 to 20 meters per second close 10 kilometers 6.2 miles flyby. Topic: <laughs> Goal The NASA Near-Earth Asteroid NEA Scout mission will demonstrate the capability of an extremely small spacecraft propelled by a solar sail to perform reconnaissance of an asteroid at low cost. The goal is to develop a capability that would close knowledge gaps at a near-Earth asteroid in the 1 to 100 meters range. Nice in the 1 to 100 meters range are poorly characterized due to the challenges that come with detecting, observing, and tracking these for extended periods of time. It has been thought that objects in the 1 to 100 meters size range are fragments of bigger objects. However, it has also been suggested that these objects could actually be rubble piles. The mission researchers argue that Characterization of NICE that are larger than 20 meters in diameter is also of great relevance to inform mitigation strategies for planetary defense. Topic: <laughs> Target. The planned target, subject to change, is near-Earth object 1991 VG. 1991 VG was discovered shortly before passing just 0.003 astronomical units from Earth on the 6th of November 1991 and returned within 0.06 astronomical units of Earth in August 2017. It raised interest due to the close approach and the expectation that such an Earth similar orbit would not have long-term orbital stability. Once the flyby is complete, and if the system is still fully functioning, an extended mission will be contemplated, perhaps leading to the reconnaissance of another asteroid or a reflyby of 1991 VG several months later. <laughs> Payload Observations will be achieved using a CubeSat performing a close approximately 10 kilometers flyby, equipped with a high-resolution science-grade monochromatic camera to measure the physical properties of a near-Earth object. The camera is the ECAM M50 from Malin Space Science Systems. The measurements to be addressed include targets' accurate positioning position and prediction, rotation rate and pole position, mass, density, mapping of particles and debris field in target vicinity, albedo and asteroid spectral type, surface morphologies and properties, ANDF regolith properties. The mission will use NASA's Deep Space Network as the primary component for communications and tracking. 
Topic design The spacecraft architecture, first presented in 2014, is based on a 6-unit CubeSat with a stowed envelope slightly larger than 10 times 20 times 30 cm, a mass of 14 kg cold gas thruster system, and primarily based on the use of commercial off-the-shelf parts. While it is possible for a 6U CubeSat to reach a NEA with conventional chemical propulsion, both the number of targets and the launch window would be tightly constrained. By utilizing solar sail propulsion, intercepting a large number of targets in any launch window is made possible. The mission duration is estimated at between 2.5 and 3 years. After deployment in cislunar space, NEA Scout will deploy its solar panels and antenna. Following a lunar flyby, the solar sail will deploy and spacecraft checkout will begin. NEA Scout will then perform a series of lunar flybys to achieve optimum departure trajectory before beginning its 2.0 to 2.5 year long cruise to the asteroid 1991 VG. Sail for 6.8 meters booms will deploy the single 86 square meters aluminized polyemide solar sail, which is 2.5 micrometers thick. The sail deployment mechanism is a modification of those of NanoSail and the Planetary Society's LightSail 2 spacecraft. The deployment time for the full sail is approximately 30 minutes. Avionics Avionics module accommodates the printed circuit boards for telecommunications, power distribution unit, command and data handling system, sun sensors, and a miniaturized star tracker. This module also includes reaction wheels, lithium batteries, and a camera. The Solar Sail Spacecraft Attitude Control System consists of three actuating subsystems, a reaction wheel control system, a reaction control system, and an adjustable mass translator system. Propulsion The cold gas propulsion system is situated below the solar sail and provides detumbling, initial impulsive maneuvers required for lunar assisted escape trajectories, and momentum management. The spacecraft will use the IRIS transponder for communications in the X-band. Topic see also Asteroid missions Don Hayabusa Hayabusa 2 Lucy Osiris Rex Psychosolar Sail Spacecraft Cubicel proposed Breakthrough Starshot proposed Icaros Lightsail 1 Nanosail D2 Sunjammer cancelled The 13 CubeSats flying in the exploration mission 1 Lunar Flashlight will map exposed water ice on the Moon Near Earth Asteroid Scout by NASA as a solar sail spacecraft that will encounter a near Earth asteroid Biosentinel as an astrobiology mission Skyfire by Lockheed Martin Lunar IceCube, by the Moorhead State University CubeSat for Solar Particles CUSP, Lunar Polar Hydrogen Mapper Luna Map, designed by the Arizona State University Aquilius, submitted by JAXA and the University of Tokyo OMOTE NASHI, submitted by JAXA, is a lunar lander Argamoon, designed by Argotech and coordinated by Italian space agency Cislunar Explorers, Cornell University, Ithaca, New York Earth Escape Explorer CUE3, University of Colorado Boulder Team Miles, by Fluid and Reason, LLC. Florida References External links SLS-1 CubeSat Deployment, NEA Scout, ECT on YouTube